I know that some of my many colleagues are unhappy that I am breaking with Senate tradition to testify on the nomination of one of my colleagues, but I believe, like perhaps all of my colleagues in the Senate, that in the choice between standing with Senate norms or standing up for what my conscience tells me is best for our country, I will always choose conscience and country. Senator Sessions has not demonstrated a commitment to a central requisite of the job, to aggressively pursue the congressional mandate of civil rights, equal rights, and justice for all of our citizens. In fact, at numerous times in his career, he has demonstrated a hostility towards these convictions and has worked to frustrate attempts to advance these ideals. If confirmed, Senator Sessions will be required to pursue justice for women, but his record indicates that he won't. He will be expected to defend the equal rights of gay and lesbian and transgender Americans, but his record indicates that he won't. He will be expected to defend voting rights, but his record indicates that he won't. He will be expected to defend the rights of immigrants and affirm their human dignity, but the record indicates that he won't. His record indicates that as Attorney General, he would object to the growing national bipartisan movement towards criminal justice reform. His record indicates that we cannot count on him to support state and national efforts towards bringing justice to the justice system and people on both sides of the aisle who readily admit that the justice system as it stands now is biased against the poor, against drug addicted, against mentally ill, and against people of color. His record indicates that a time that even the FBI director is speaking out against implicit racial bias in policing and the urgent need to address it, at a time when the last two attorney generals have taken steps to fix our broken criminal justice system, at a time when the Justice Department he would, led, he would lead has uncovered systemic abuses in police departments all over the United States, including Ferguson, including Newark, Senator Sessions would not continue to lead this urgently needed change. The next attorney general must bring hope and healing to this country. And this demands a more courageous empathy than Senator Sessions' record demonstrates.